So we talk to you often. We talk to you often about our structure and what is underneath your deck. There are an awful lot of people, a lot of customers that will buy a rib. It doesn't really matter what brand it is, they'll buy that rib and they won't know. They won't have any idea what's underneath their deck. They probably won't even know what their deck is made out of. Is it plywood? Is it marine ply? Is it a substance that over time is going to absorb water? Is it something that's going to delaminate? They don't know because they don't really care. They're more focused on what the upholstery looks like and how comfortable it is and where the cup holders are. And actually the structure itself, in my opinion, is the most important part of a boat for, for the longevity of your investment. Remember, remember you're spending an awful lot of money, whether it be a commercial customer or a leisure customer, you're investing in your business or you're investing in your family. And the longevity of that investment, I think is massively important. So when you look at that structure here that we have on one of our images from our factory, you can see just how over-engineered that hull is, the girders, the stringers, the reinforcing sections, all of the tubing, all of the cable rigging, all becomes a part of the strength of that boat. And that actually coming back here, we have a cross section. So we can show you a bit more detail, small details that make a huge difference. So this is a cross section of one of our patrol holes. And you can see, so this will be your deck section cut away to reveal the structure that goes underneath there. So immediately you can see the immense strength of these girders. So these girders run full length. So these are full length strengthening girders. So they are essentially enormous stringers that really give the boat the stiffness that you need. Those are reinforced on each individual aluminium plate by some of the smaller reinforcing struts. Some of the st smaller stringers again that run forward and aft. Cable trays, you can see here, there's our cable tray. Now, why have we got a special dedicated cable tray? How many boats do you see where your cables over a certain period of time just languish in the bilge area? They just hang and they spend their life surrounded by moisture, potentially salt water, mold, all of the bits and pieces that build up in your bilge area over time. We make sure that all of your cabling is out of the way. It's lifted, it's in a dry section of the hull. So it runs through this cable tray here. Cable tray completely separates your electronics and your cables from this bilge area. The other thing to note there, as you can see, this is where we pass your fuel line. Why do we pass your fuel line through here? Because again, same reason how many boats you see where the fuel lines just run along the deck, uh, run along the base of the hull there. And it spends its life wet, very often salt water, very often salt in there. So the lifetime of your fuel line is drastically shortened if it's not protected and lifted away. So your fuel line will run through this, it'll be kept dry, it'll be kept clean, it'll be kept away from any water that gets into the hull. And again, it prolongs the life of your boat. So I think, our message has always been right from the beginning of this brand. Do you know what's under your deck? Do you know what sits below your driver's seat? Do you know what's underneath your console? With us, you do. With us, you can see there that everything we build is over-engineered and it will be very, very difficult for you to break one of our boats.